I feel like almost every person who is interested in GTA 6 a lot knows who Emmanuel Paris is and know that everyone feels like she is a voice actor for Lucia. People decided on her looks, on her trailer voice and other related things with this young lady. So let's have a look into more updated information on her profile as well as let's research more information on police, weapon system and Versetti estate. For more daily news and updates, you just gotta subscribe bro, I'm trying for you, thank you and let's start. New GT6 leaks, so basically here we can see these pictures that we already saw like a week ago and we already discussed it before, so this one is not actually from GT6 and it, it, it is actually not a leak as we already saw it before and this is basically created on Unity engine as it was just created by some person but it is not related to GT6 and this is not the picture from it. Next is, why does Lucia look like more uh, look more like Manny L. Paris than Manny look more like Lucia? Think about it. Yeah, she's so, so uh, related to her and I feel like, yeah, if it actually is going to happen that she's an actor, we already knew it right from the start. 50 days later and I still can't get over how awesome this shot looks. So, first of all, the YCD in 2004 in the YCD in 2025. Yeah, this is just the start and we will for sure see it even more greater in an actual game that we are looking at it right now from the trailer. Would you rather GT6 have a weapon wheel or a holster system like Red Dead Redemption 2 had? As much as I like the weapon wheel in other games, a holster system which limits how many weapons you can carry would force players to get tactical with which weapon they bring to a mission. So. Uh, so this guy actually put it better than I ever could. A similar weapon holster system to Red Dead Redemption 2, two handguns, a melee weapon and two long guns that can be carried on your back. Hear me out, handguns in the HD universe are pretty much exclusively weakle and cutscene weapons and they are absolute everywhere else. Why use the AP pistol when you can just whip out an ocelot rifle out of thin air? But if, they necessary, necess, but if the necessity of uh, uh, concealment is important, that will make handguns super important and will make combat more difficult in a good way. If you're walking down the street with an RPG on your back, you're pretty much guaranteed to pick up one star wanted level as soon as someone sees you. So instead of those weapons can be retrieved from the trunk of whatever car you were in last, hence you'll be popping the trunk on enemies when shit gets real. So do you think a holster sim system would be a good idea for GTA 6 or would it be removing a large part of the GTA's DNA? Uh, this is definitely a cool idea that Crazy Weapon Will with a huge number of weapons appeared only in GTA 5 and before that the player could only pick up one weapon of each type. If GTA 6 repeats the concept of Red Dead Redemption it will only make it game gameplay more interesting and tactical, so pistols were greatly underrated in GTA 5 and will be used much more often with the new system. And if there is also Macedonian shooting with automatic pistols. With my most recent playthrough of GTA 5, I only used pistols when I felt like train, uh, trying something different. There was no real gameplay incentive to use them aside from boredom. I hope in GTA 6 you could use them more because they are affordable and easier to obtain. I want to lose weapons when we die or lose everything in the trunk when your car explodes. That is unless we pay additional money for insurance. I want money to be really valuable in this iteration more than anything else. Would definitely make the game more challenging, it would force you to be much more cautious in missions and take less chances. So only thing is maybe this goes away once you beat the main storyline mission or at least have the option to disable so you can have a more traditional GTA experience afterwards, if that's what you want. I really like the weapon wheel in GTA 5, it was super cool to be able to finally carry every single weapon in the game, it was cool, for the last 10 years. Now I would really like to see the holster system and utilize trunk space. It's still different from the previous GTAs and adds cool new aspect to the game. There's a decent possibility I think, since the Rockstar hired a GTA RP roleplay team, this is how it works in roleplay. You can see what weapon a player has on their back and you can put guns in the trunk and the small guns in a glove 
compartment, along with all the kinds of other things in the game, like drug ingredients, drugs, keys, keycards, laptops, etc. An inventory system with inventory is really cool too, but I would be happy with just guns. Next up is, I hope you can hear distant gunshots and see what's going on. I would love if they made it realistic enough uh, that you can hear background noises and see what's going on and can intervene. Like here, distant gunshots and actually if you're late to go to it, it's an active crime scene. Or sirens that can go to someone dying or a house fire. A little bit of interactions but 10 times better how they did it in GTA 5. Versetti Estate should return but be renamed to Liotta Estate. As we all know, Ray Liotta sadly passed away in 2022, therefore GTA 6 should and probably will have some easter egg of reference to pay tribute to him. Since he played Tommy Versetti in GTA Vice City, I have an idea on how Rockstar could do that. They should include Versetti Estate on Starfish Island in the game, but it should be referred to as the Liotta Estate. That it would serve as a tribute to Ray Liotta while at the same time not invalid dating the 3D and HD universe lore, since the third era protagonists don't exist in the HD universe. Possible connection between Lucia and Luis Lopez actors as they unfollow each other on Instagram, and we could see that on their Instagrams if we just go, they were followed on each other, so followed by Mario Dlan, uh, Mario De Leon, and also uh, Manuel Paris, uh, uh, he was uh, actually followed on her. But now if we check it out, they are not followed by each other, but this guy just put it uh, the same screenshot in both of these, but if you check it out by yourself, it is actually like it is. It's worth noting that there might be a connection between Lucy and Luis Perez Lopez, given their shared Hispanic background. One piece of evidence suggesting this connection was their mutual follow on Instagram. However, it's interesting to observe that they no longer follow each other, leading to speculation that Rockstar may have instructed them to unfollow due to NDA, while many speculated Lucia could be Louis' niece. This remains unconfirmed. As nevertheless, the theory aligns with the timeline as she was a child in GTA 4. Alternatively, Louis might be making a cameo running a nightclub for Tony or himself in Vice City. As keep in mind that these are the only theories and none of the information provided is confirmed. And my guess is that she is the real actress since there are so many coincidences such as her, her social media behavior including turning off comments and deleting content after speculations, her appearances and voice. Things like the addiction or the, uh, 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 things like the addition of detectives and unmarked police vehicles would create a more immersive atmosphere. If you shoot up a gas station or murder someone and their evidence that leads to you, I think there should be a whole crime scene investigation. Sort of like a timer and gaining stars and detected by people who call 911, sort of like Red Dead Redemption 2 law man detection, but much more modern and effective. Obviously this should be utilized in story mode most and to less degree in the eventual GTA Online. That's all the information I wanted to talk about on this one, there's more to talk about in the next one will be the relationship of Lucia and Jason in the next one as we'll go through that a lot. So don't forget to subscribe, like and share, see you in the next one and peace.